With Oregon's indoor mask mandate in public places taking effect Wednesday, grocery stores across southern Oregon are taking different approaches on enforcement. We're pretty frustrated about where things are. All stores are required to post clear signage instructing customers to mask up. Most stores require employees to wear masks, but enforcing customers is a whole other topic. Whether grocery stores will deny business to people without masks is unclear. The president of the United Food and Commercial Workers Union, which represents 30,000 grocery workers throughout Oregon and southwest Washington, says many employees are frustrated that customers aren't required to wear masks. My members feel like they're being called essential employees, but they're being treated like they're disposable employees. When asked about their mask policy, Safeway Albertson said in a statement, quote, we thank our customers for following all state regulations with respect to face coverings for their protection and for that of our associates. We also require our associates and vendors to wear masks as well, end quote. Fred Meyer gave a similar response, saying in part, quote, to protect our associates and minimize the risk of disputes with customers, we uphold the mandate through door signage and in-store radio, as well as the ongoing execution of additional protection measures, like protective partitions at every check lane and floor decreases cows to further promote physical distancing, end quote. When asked if they would turn away customers without masks, there was no response from either store. Winco said masks are required for employees and customers, but also wouldn't comment on specific enforcement policies. Raise Market says they will try to enforce customers to wear masks as best they can, but again, gave no specifics. I don't see why they can't uh, put somebody at the door and say, Here's a mask, wear a mask, protect another human being. While there are mixed feelings regarding mask enforcement among customers, grocery stores are allowed to deny customers for not wearing masks. It's private property. However, it's ultimately the customer's decision whether they shop there or walk away. In Medford, Anna Weeks, NBC5 News.